Lebanon on edge and on the edge of falling into an abyss. The possibility of an Israeli ground invasion stoking fears of a repeat of the hugely destructive month-long war between Hezbollah and Israel in 2006, sparked by Hezbollah capturing Israeli soldiers. Now the situation is different. Uh, Israel wants to break Hezbollah, not just push him outside the border area. And the Israelis seem to, seem to be determined. Hezbollah was formed in 1982 in the middle of Lebanon's 15-year civil war. The Shiite Muslim group is one of the most armed non-state actors in the world. Its political wing has significant power within Lebanon's precarious system of government, which shares power between different religious groups. Let's be clear, many Shiites don't support Hezbollah. Last month, Hezbollah released this video appearing to demonstrate its military assets. Global News cannot verify the footage. Canada, the US and others classify Hezbollah as a terrorist group. It is backed by Iran and is regarded as one of Tehran's proxies, along with Hamas in Gaza and the Houthis in Yemen. All want to see Israel wiped off the map. I don't think Hezbollah is going to throw the towel anytime soon. You have to understand Hezbollah, you know, it has an ideology that includes the importance of martyrdom. After Israel is believed to have targeted the electronic devices of Hezbollah members last week, its leader Hassan Nasrallah promised revenge, saying he won't let Israeli residents return to their homes close to the Lebanese border. Lebanon as a nation and a state is going to suffer dramatically. Potentially another brutal chapter in Lebanon's bloody modern history. Redmond Shannon, Global News, London.